What's up, fiends? This is Cal here from Gaming Fiends. And you're watching my second Moab guide, which and this time it's going to be on lockdown. And again, I do these guides for free-for-all because I think free-for-all is the best way to get a Moab. Uh, it's probably the easiest. So I divided the map into four spots like always, but this time it's a little bit different. Now, the red, yellow, and blue, and green are the four spots. The light blue is the green and the blue shared. The orange is the green and the yellow shared, and then the purple is the blue and the red shared. So if you guys really want to pause this, I, th I recommend you do and look at it, uh, because uh, because you will need to know this. Uh, but for this map, <clears throat> at least for this game, I choose the red side because I think it has the least amount of you know people spawning there, has a lot of less traffic, you know, because free-for-all is, is 30 kills, the max. So your, your whole, the whole point of it is not to get the mob right away, but it's to survive long enough and to get enough kills and actually get the mob itself. Uh, so yeah, now the blue area is where you're gonna actually want to run around. Now the red area is just your viewpoint. You never wanna you you wanna try your best not to be in the red area except for maybe that bright. Right? Um, and the, the green area is really high traffic areas. I do not recommend going there at all. Uh, that's very that's a very high traffic area, and you can get killed. There's a lot of campers in that area also. So uh, I will explain the hallway especially much more because the hallway is a very crucial that which is the green. The highlighted green bottom area so uh now the blue again like i said that's the viewpoints that's where you're going to be aiming down your sights you're not actually going to be spending time in there yourself but that's where you're going to be aiming down because a lot of people spawn there a lot of people going around that area but the red is where you're actually going to be the red is actually where you're going to spend time in and that's where you're going to be maneuvering and controlling this area um now, if you watch the gameplay, you will definitely tell that the red plays a, a crucial part. And now, when I look down there, that's that that whole area is the blue. Right here is the blue, and you saw that person. A lot of people run down the area. A lot of people spawn in that corner. So uh, that's a very crucial uh, thing to remember. Now, about the hallway. Uh, now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. That purple area... <coughs> I'm sorry. That purple area that you see, that's the whole hallway. Now, the black dot. Whenever you enter that hallway, you have to stick there. You have to stay in that corner. So if somebody enters, which is the direction of the black arrow, uh, you know you, you're able to kill them because you know they they run through the area. But I never I recommend camping. That's just I use this a lot to you know reload to get away from somebody because when I run behind this corner, they don't see me run behind the corner. They might run through to try to kill me, and then I'll be behind them. And then the white area is where is your viewpoint where people are going to be coming through. So you have to watch that area also. So uh, if you watch this gameplay more. And pay attention to how I play. You will see that I uh, use this this the black dot area uh, really effectively uh, for you know for living a little bit longer. And as you see. <clears throat> Out of my whole area, that viewpoint, which is the red circle inside of the big black circle, which is the hallway, um, I use that to look down the hallway and to control the hallway, and uh, it works wonders. You got, I got, I got a lot of kills. I got, I uh, escaped a lot of de uh, deaths from that way. Now, this is another crucial viewpoint. You guys saw me use it a lot. Um, I'm actually looking at it right at this moment. A lot of people spawn in this area, and the green is where you're going to be looking, uh, but. The non-highlighted area, which is next to it, is kind of your blind spot. But I mean, it, usually people are gonna be running through there, you know. So you know, but you also have to be careful because sometimes people could snipe down that way, and you have to be really careful because you can die. And uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of hostile, but it's also crucial because a lot of people go through there, and you can get a lot of kills. So now. This other viewpoint is uh, is right under under me on the, on the bottom floor, and uh, it's basically where you look down that way. You look into the green area and you look into the blue area. Now you saw before that there was no in the yellow area. Uh, that's the blind spot. Now the blue square is a car, so that yellow area is kind of a blind spot to whoever's behind that car. So that you have to be really careful when you're looking down the area because people could be hiding, looking through the window. As you see right now, uh, a guy. Um, if you saw that car uh, next to the doorway, uh, I don't. I don't. I think. I don't think I got to kill that uh, at that moment. Uh, there was, it was another time, but uh, there was this guy hiding behind the car, and if he hadn't jumped up and showed his head, and uh, me shooting through the window, and if he hadn't noticed me either, then uh, you know I would. I could have probably died because he. He, he actually he was actually hiding behind the car now this viewpoint behind me right now is also a very crucial one um, there's a lot of people that run through that area especially they spawn in that area the, in that corner right there uh, as you see they, they, they could spawn in that corner 
And uh, <clears throat> so you have to watch the area. You have to watch both of these areas. They're very crucial. It's very high traffic again, like I said. But be careful. There could be snipers. Uh, but maybe not many people spawn in this area right now because I'm controlling it or I'm here. And um, I don't know why uh, the model for three spawns act want to act good towards other people when I'm playing. But anyway, so yeah, you have to watch out for a lot of campers. There's a lot of campers in in. Uh, in lockdown but that's also another reason why all oh, that close call that's another reason why I picked this area there's, there's not many places where you can camp and uh, really another reason why I, I kind of got this Moab is uh, because of two things I had a really comfortable gun now these are a few pointers that you should remember uh, assault rifle submachine gun really recommended I don't recommend the shotgun I mean it's kind of you know it's not it's not that good uh, specialist package again these guides are for people that you know having trouble getting a Moab, Moab. So a specialist package, uh, of course, because you're not your assault, especially in free fall, your assault and support will not help you. Do not use assault, assault and support for a Moab. Now, a few pointers that you don't really need, but they're really helpful, is a silencer. Um, I actually highly recommend it, but you don't fully need it, so people don't know where you are. You know, what if you shoot at somebody and you miss? Uh, he's not going to be able to know where your your uh, where your area is, and then a headset. You use a headset. I actually use Turtle Beach X thirty ones. You could use a headset to hear footsteps. That's how I mostly knew where everybody was. Actually, uh, I had the whole game in my ears. You know, it's uh, it's really good. It helps a lot with uh, everything. And I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope it helped you a lot. And uh, good luck on your Moab. Peace.